Okay, so you probably heard by now that Ashanti and Nelly are back together. And this whole relationship is sparking the question of, should you go back to your ex? And as a licensed relationship therapist, we gonna talk about it right now. Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra Jackson, licensed marriage and family therapist here. I know that this is a topic that so many people have been talking about because Ashanti and Nelly used to date back in the day. Like if this, if you are not old enough, this is throwback. This is like 2003. And they were together for a long time. I think over a decade, they were together as a couple. I don't know what happened. Rumor says, you know, Nelly was cheating and creeping and doing all that. I'm here to talk about that part, but I am here to talk about how a whole decade has passed again and they back together. We are talking about two Grammy award winning artists who spun the block after dating a long time ago and now they're back together again. Now this had the Shade Room, the Jasmine brand, TMZ, and all of the blogs. And in the comment sections, people were like, to spin the block on your ex? or not to spin the block on your ex, which essentially means, should I get back with my ex or not just because Ashanti and Nelly are doing it? And you know I got something to say about that, but let me just tell y'all how recently we have been seeing them so happy, so excited, all of the pictures, they kikied, hugged up, and they really look like they're having the time of their lives. They really look like they didn't work out the first time and now they're coming together and things are working out well. Now, I don't know Nelly or Ashanti, neither one of them, nor do I know their past, what they went through and what they're currently going through. All I can talk about is what I've seen on social media. And for Ashanti's 43rd birthday, Nelly pulled up on her with a diamond encrusted watch and a diamond chain necklace, okay? And she looked excited and happy and flossed out like she looked like she was having time of her life. And then Ashanti turned around for Nelly's 49th birthday and bought him an old school car, which happens to be his dream car that he's always wanted. I'm talking about bro was literally in tears over this. So it looks like things are going well and I am all here for black love when it's done right and appropriately. What I wanna talk about is the idea of should you get back with your ex or not? Now look, I know most of y'all watching this video are not celebrities, y'all not in the limelight, y'all not making the money and the dough, fame and the notoriety and the followers, y'all ain't got all of that. <laughs> which technically puts things in a different category, but we're not gonna talk about that part. I'm just going to give y'all my quick perspective on if you should get back with your ex or not and break that thing down. Because some of y'all are struggling and some of y'all are gonna find yourself in a hole in a difficult situation if you're basing your life off of Nelly and Ashanti. Now the only, and I mean only way, that I agree that somebody should go back to their ex if there is changed behavior and there is fruit and evidence of that change. Let me say that again for the people in the back because I don't want y'all to miss it. The only way that I agree with somebody going back to their ex is if there is changed behavior and there is evidence and fruit of that change behavior. So if there is change behavior, the person's doing well, they done went to therapy, they worked through their ish, their communication skills, or whatever issue they had when y'all were together, then look, we can try to get to know each other again. We can start at square one, we can talk, we can kick key, we can date and see where this is going. Essentially, we're basically revisiting this to see what can happen next. Now, this is only appropriate when you're able to watch words and behaviors. If you're new to my channel, listen, you need to go back and watch some other videos because I talk about how words and actions have to align. You can talk a big game and there's no actions, right? You can have all the actions, but if you're you're saying something different, that's also off and there is incongruence. So you need to look at this basically as like a long-term pattern. If they say, oh baby, I'm doing better. I'm not doing that no more. I'm a changed man. And two weeks later, <laughs> they're going back to their old habits and behaviors, then baby, you ain't changed nothing. <laughs> You're still the same person. You just said what you said and did what you did to get me back. And that's not okay. So what I want for you to do is be cautious, for you to go slow, for you not to rush, 
and for you to observe behavior. Remember, we're seeing fruit and long lasting change. If you're not seeing that, then what we doing? And I know some of y'all are probably thinking, well, Keandra, people don't change, you know, like, and I don't believe that. I absolutely believe that people have the capacity to change, not to say that everyone does it or that it's easy, but if you really want to change something, you really want to be better for yourself and somebody else, you will do what needs to be done and you will be honest about your growth, your progress, and that journey. I can't tell you how many people that I know personally and how many clients that I have worked with in the past where they broke up, <laughs> it did not work, but they wind up finding their way back to each other, got married, and now they're for real, for real, happily married. So I know from personal experience and from clients, from professional experience, that this can work if both parties are willing to put in the work. Now, let me tell you the flip side to this, baby. It's a hard no, immediate no. It's a hell to the no if the behavior is not changed. If there's no changed behavior, he said, no, boo, we don't even have anything to talk about. Why are you trying to come back and pursue me just for the sake of wanting to get that old thing back? So I need for y'all, if you're even thinking about taking your ex back and you haven't seen any change behavior, <laughs> go ahead and stop. Go ahead and press pause and really consider why would you do that to yourself? all over again. I don't want you to even think about going back just because you're lonely, just because you're scared, just because the dating pool out here sucks, just because that old person was safe and you're familiar with them. Those are not valid reasons to go backwards because if that person is not the person that you are supposed to be with, then baby, you are blocking him from being with who he's supposed to be with for real. And you are also blocking yourself from finding the man of your dreams and the person that you're supposed to be with for real too. So while I could say a lot about this, I wanted to keep this real plain and simple. That if Nelly and Ashanti is doing it, that don't mean you should do it. And hopefully Nelly knows not to fumble and drop the bag twice. First time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. So to be honest, I'm interested in seeing how this whole thing plays out. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching another video on my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.